edition of unboxing the Xbox Woo! so we've previously been struggling with the wires connecting them to the computer to the TV la, 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 la. so we decided to sell those and we've traded up to a wireless controller I'm gonna open it I'm so excited this is a brand new controller wait you're probably thinking what is on my head the new style of 2017 watch this space just quietly da, 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 da. wow Ooh, that looks nice oh it's different look it's got batteries as well, batteries included. Oh, it feels nice. I like, oh, it feels really nice. I like the buttons. Oh my God. It feels nice. Yeah. It? It's very much it's... nicer than the wired one. It feels different, it looks different. Oh yeah. It's actually, it's not different. It looks the same. It just looks cleaner. I think it just looks smarter. <laughs> this wire. Oh my goodness. How long is that wire? Is that like three meters? Now these are version two of the wireless controllers, so that means they connect using Bluetooth technology, which means you don't need a dongle, USB, to actually get them working. And it comes with batteries. And batteries are so important because you never have enough at home. I've got loads. Pound I don't know, but generally, oh yeah, there's Poundland. I can't wait to play FIFA and, uh, yeah, FIFA. And what's the other one? Ray Sun, what's the game? Rayman. Rayman, Rayman and Sonic and WWE. <laughs> Now to get it set up on macOS, you will need open source third party library drivers. Just go to the 360 controller GitHub page and download the latest release. Now this install will require you to restart your computer. After the restart, you'll now see a new Xbox 360 controllers icon. Something worth bearing in mind. While you can pair your Xbox controllers to your Mac in the Bluetooth menu, Unfortunately, these drivers will not work over Bluetooth and you will need wired mini USB cable for connecting. If for some reason you do need a wireless controller for the two or three Mac games that are out there, you will have to settle for one of those knockoff controllers at the Apple Store. So here we're setting up the device on Windows 10. What you do is launch the Bluetooth settings application, power on the controller, then hold down the Bluetooth connect button at the top until the X button starts blinking. You'll see an Xbox controller device appear. Just select pair and after about 30 seconds, it should be connected. While Microsoft doesn't officially recommend connecting more than one device, we'll be doing just that. Now, while you can immediately start playing with the controllers, it's recommended to install the latest firmware update for the controllers to get the best performance. To do this, launch the Microsoft Store application and search for an app called Xbox Accessories. You will need your own micro USB cable as the firmware update doesn't work over Bluetooth. The app will then detect your Xbox controller and inform you if you need a firmware update. The update takes a few minutes and it will need to be done to both controllers. It does look nice. Yeah, it's really clear. And there's no wine. Oh yeah. Oh. No! No! Ash! Are we back together? No! Oh, 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 I think mean, it's nice, it's quite, uh, it feels quite smooth. Um, I felt it vibrate as well, so it's similar to the other ones. The great thing about it is that there is no uh, wire, so it's completely wireless, which is great. What did you think about it? I think um, I definitely like it. For us, I think the wired, it was, it was too tangly, it was yeah. just too much of a nightmare. Get to play games. We, just, play the games. we just want to play the games. I still play the games. Babe, what was wrong with this? I pressed egg. 